Hi friends, this book is called Commotion in the Ocean. It's going to look at all different kind of creatures we could see in the ocean. I wonder if you could think of any. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. You'll find every sort of creature that lives beneath the sea swimming through the pages of this book. There are dolphins, whales, and penguins. There are jellyfish and sharks. There's the turtle and the big white polar bear. But can you see behind the wrecks and in between the rocks? Let's take a look at who's hiding there. A crab. The crab likes walking sideways, and I think the reason why is to make himself look sneaky and pretend that he's a spy. Turtles. We crawl up the beach from the water. We bury our eggs on dry land. We lay a whole batch, and then when they hatch, they scamper about in the sand. This page has dolphins. The wonderful thing about dolphins is hearing them try to speak. It's not, how do you do, as I'd say to you. It's more of a click, whistle, squeak. Can you try that? Squeak. Hello, I'm the angelfish, darling, the prettiest thing in the sea. What a shame there are no other creatures as gorgeous and lovely as me. The jellyfish loves to jiggle, where the other fish think it's quite dumb. She knows it's not all that useful, but jiggling's lots of good fun. The shark. <laughs> I swim with a grin up to greet you. See how my jaws open wide. Why don't you come a bit closer? Please take a good look inside. I would not look inside a shark's mouth. And the swordfish. I love to chase after small fishes. It keeps me from getting too bored. And then when I start feeling hungry, I skewer a few on my sword. And this is a octopus. Having eight arms can be useful. You may think it looks a bit funny. It helps me hold all my children and tickle each one on the tummy. The stingray is at the bottom of the ocean, and the stingray flaps its wings. But don't get too close to him, his tail really stings. And never shake hands with a lobster, it isn't a wise thing to do. With a clippity clap and a snippity snap, he would snip all your fingers in two. Miles below the surface where the water is dark and deep, live the most amazing creatures that you could ever meet. There are fish of all descriptions of every shape and size. Some have giant pointy teeth and great big bulging eyes. Some of them can walk around and balance on their fins. But the strangest fish of all have glowing whiskers on their chins. There's no other beast on the planet as big as the giant blue whale. We can speak whale like this. measures a massive 100 feet long from this head to the tip of his tail and on him are these little bunch of barnacles and all we do is cling. We know it's not that glamorous but it's our favorite thing. Our bodies are covered with blubber and our tusks are incredibly long. We're grumpy and proud and we bellow out loud and show that we're mighty strong. Orp, 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 orp. We waddle around on icebergs, which makes our feet slither and slide. And when we get close to the water, we leap with a splash off the side. Deep out in the Arctic, the mommy polar bear snuggles up with all her children, since it's very cold out there. What a lot of creatures we have seen beneath the sea. What a lot of funny things they do. Some of them might lick their lips and eat you in one bite. And some might want to swim around with you. The dolphin's very friendly, and the lobster's very fierce, but the shark is the most dangerous by far. Can you name the other friends we made along the way? See if you can tell me who they are. I wonder if you can remember some of the animals that we talked about that live under the sea in this book. Like the octopus and the swordfish. Thanks for reading the story, friends. See you next time.